Okay. We have enough trolley to sit down. No, no, don't wait. Give me a drink while you're on. Yes, please. I'll get drinks. Um... Yeah, okay, so we're up to the Mishnah, right? We get into a little uh Tsiyaina Shigamara's here. Here it's Israel. All right. So Zakdi Mishnah, yeah. Call mitzvah sheet. It's called mitzvah sheet, Lu Yabarat. Any mitzvah that's totally in the land, ain't in a hegazala barats. It's only now you can in the in in the Eretz Yisrael. Right, about it. If it's not totally in the land, then the is bain bar. It's bain mechutz laretz. Then we're knowing whether you're in Eretz Yisrael when you're chutz Um Right. So okay, we'll see in the Gemara exactly what this means. But again, if it's a mitzvah that's land based, then it's only in Eretz Yisrael, not in chutz laretz. But a regular mitzvah that's not land based, that's person based, people based. Then that's everywhere. On Tamid Aleph now, Chutzman or Arla or Klaim, except for Arla and Klaim. So Arla, Arla is the first three years that you plant the tree. So that is Nagaya. That's also in Chutzlaretz and Klaim. Klaim is planting, planting, uh, you know, uh, crossbreeding. Crossbreeding is not allowed in Chutzlaretz. Now we have to see in the Gemara. That's not so posh because most crossbreeding that's done nowadays. Well, crossbreeding, no, it's, I'm sorry, it's not crossbreeding. Klyim is is when you plant it together. Grafting. What do you say? Graft grafting. No, grafting is not klyim. That's what I'm saying. That's a mistake I made. Grafting is 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 not allowed anywhere. Klyim's shot. What do you call it? There's got to be a name for it. Shotness. It's shotness. Man. Yeah, but shotness. But no. But we're talking about land based shotness of other. But I'm saying. Yeah, but it's the same. Crossbreeding. Plant the grapes and and and. Please, I don't. I guess. Yeah. Is it is that crossbreeding? Cross planting. Yeah. Cross planting. Oh. That's what you're doing. Yeah. No, cross it's not crossbreeding. It's, it's not. Cross not There's thing. nothing to do with that. You're putting them back um, in the same hole. And yeah, they have nothing to do with it. Each other. You don't make a new bria, wine wine flavored rye bread. It's, you're not yeah. doing that. Yeah, and, and it's it is a kayim. You're not even. You have to uproot it. So it's, it's not uh, whether it's grapes or the wheat, whatever is wheat. So you yeah, have uproot. Kilayim means mixtures. Kilayim means mixing. You can't mix certain things. But it's in reference. It's in mixing mixing things that shouldn't be mixed by planting. Them. We just had this whole. We had the whole Masechta Yishami just now. We're just finishing it up now on Kilaim. It's literally mixtures. It's mixtures. I correct, don't know. But... Online they define it as crossbreeding with Tiago. I'm just saying. Yeah, that's online they, they define it as crossbreeding. Yes. Yeah. It's not, it's yes. not crossbreeding. It's interesting because it's not okay. cross to breed things is to put one on top of the other. Kilaim is even if you don't. Kilaim is if you just plant even it if, in the close proximity. Even if, you, if you put a if you put an ox and a, and a mule on the same yoke. That's that's also considered key line. It's it's crossing. It's mix. It's it's adverse you're, mixtures. You're not breeding them. You're not breeding them. The, it's a separate iser to put a ox and a and a mule together. That's a separate iser. It's key, that's also key line, though. It it's, is. It's call, call it what you call it, right, line, but it's not right climb. It's not climb the Karen. That's not climb the is is climb the is grapes. Kilan the Karen is is something completely different. It's yeah. it, that's planting within a vineyard that has its own set of halachas as it stands. You're talking about a climb, and which climb are you talking about here? Any climb. No, the bottom line is, I just want to make it clear: it's not taking a uh, a plum and taking the branches of the plum and tying it around an apple and making a plapple or whatever. That's yeah. that's that's hard. That's, Arch Girl says that's included. Oh, in that's, this. that's part that's, of it. That's part of it. The climb just means mixtures, and what where they define mixtures is it's a it's a wide spectrum of things. Otsko says that's that's called climb too. That's not it goes under the the, the umbrella of climb. Literally, they say on the on the, the note number two here is climb. They say hybrids, but but climb no, is grafting. Grafting, grafting is grafting is a process. Yeah, that's a form of it, of it but. 
but yeah, it's a, but even uh, putting two our chava is, 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 is a separate issue. Our chava, you're, you're being I don't know. Our chava is not saying like that. Right, so Arthur is saying that's part of claim. Is you that can, part of claim? You I can graft, though. That's it. There's two different parts of grafting. You can graft an apple to an apple, but you can't graft an apple to a. You can't graft. Uh, you can't graft a um, a bean to a to a a, a tree, right? Uh, there, they somehow you somehow they thought you could do that. You can't plant. You can't put a seed, uh, a, a tomato seed, inside of a uh, inside of a watermelon. I think that was the case in 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 uh, earlier in in Kilan. Yeah, yeah. But that, okay, we'll have to see in the Gemara. But there is going to be a difference halachically between grafting, what we define as grafting, and then just planting in close proximity. Right. Right. Anyways, okay, Vaita. So he's saying, Arl and Klein applying Kutzlar to Ruliezer on your Afa Chodosh. So that's going to be, what does he mean by that? Afa Chodosh. Afa Chodosh, what? Afa Chodosh is Noyig in Chutzlaretz or not Noyig in Chutzlaretz? Right. You hear what the difference is? Meaning he's, he's just saying random. Afa Chodosh. Afa Chodosh is going on the first part of the Mishnah or not? Right. Um. Yeah. Good, so we'll see that in the Gemara. Fine. So my Tuliya, my Shane, what does it mean it's Tuliya Baritz and what is not Tuliya Baritz? Right, what does that mean? So, Ailaim uh, Tuliya Dirsiba Bia, where it says Bia, meaning when you come into um, Eretz, uh, when you come, meaning the Pasuk says, what's the Pasuk Rashi says? Ki Savayu, Ki Yibiyacha, right? When it says, when you come into Eretz Yisrael, start keeping these mitzvahs. And something that's not totally in the arts, where the Pasuk doesn't say when you come into Eretz Yisrael, keep this in this mitzvah. That can't be because already tefillin, who peter chamor, you have tefillin and peter chamor, that pigeon peter chamor, that's uh, that's uh, being paid the, the first donkey, right? By both of those, it says, we got to put on tefillin in Eretz Yisrael and in Chutz Laretz. Right, so it can't be, it can't be that that it's totally in the words kiviyacha. Wait, right? tefillin is brought without without bia. What do you mean? Shema, there's no other way of kisavoi or no, but it does say. But in the in one of the pesukim, it does mention tefillin. in of Yeah, but why wouldn't Shema show me that it's non-specific? Maybe yes, but I guess it does say that in one of the parshies it does say it. No. Um, that's what I think. But anyways, so that can't be the definition. So I'm Rav Yudah Hachi Kama Kol Mitzvah She Chayvas Haguf and I guess Bein Baruch Bein Luchut Bein Luchut Right? This is Mamish that the Gemara is a brisk. The Gemara is from brisk right here. This Gemara. If it's a Chayvas Haguf, it's a Chayach in the Gavra. It's a Mitzvah on the person. Then it's not like whether it's an Eretz or whether it's Chutz Laretz. Chayvas Karka. But if it's a chiv on the land, meaning it's land based, then it's ain in agus ella ba'aretz. Then it's only noyig in in eretz yisrael. Reinani mili, how we know this? So the tanarabon eila chokim va eila eilu have a drushes. When it says eila chokim, that's talking about the drushes of how to darshan the psukim va mishpatim and the and the the laws eilu adinim. That's referring to laws. Asher tishmurun. But it says the ones that you should watch, that's Mishnah. Lasois, Zumaisa. Lasois means that you have to do it. Be'eretz, Yochol. So it says Be'eretz. You have to do it in, in, in the land. Yochol, kol mitzvah's cool and lo you know you're going to have a Be'eretz. You would think, okay, it says Be'eretz. You have to do all these things, right? Eila hachukim ha'shpatim ha'sher teshmerun, right? And then it says Be'eretz. So maybe only Eretz is all. So Yaakov comments is cool and like you know you're gonna elevate Aretz. Tama Leimer Kol Hayavim Asher Atem Chayim Al Adama. Right, all the days that you're living on the land. E Kol Hayavim Yachol You Know You Can Bein Baaretz Bein Luchot Zaretz. So then, if you're gonna say all your days or all the days, so maybe it's everything is like in Eretz Yisrael and Luchot Zaretz. Tama Leimer Baaretz. So therefore, Baaretz is telling you 
that the ones that are land based, meaning basically the the pasuk is mashma aretz. One second, the the pasuk is mashma aretz, and the pasuk is mashma everywhere. So what way we're darshaning it is that the ones that are mamish in the land have to be done in Eretz Yisrael. The ones that are not land based are not done in Eretz Yisrael anywhere. What's the problem? What is the right from Kikol Yom? It says Kol Yom. Right. That's you have to do all your days. All your days where? Everywhere. Well, we learned before all your days you have. We learned that you can't really leave Eretz Yisrael. We gave but. But well, let's say you never meant to Eretz Yisrael. What? Let's say you never went to Eretz Yisrael. Right. right. Um. Yeah. So you're saying there's no mitzvah that's in Eretz Yisrael that's not land based. I can't come up with an example now, but it's got. I don't know. No mitzvah in Eretz Yisrael. No mitzvah that's only in Eretz Yisrael that's not land based. Not planting, not that. Not that I know of. Planting is land based, no. He's right. It's right. A, not that I know of. I don't. Know. What he said? I didn't hear what he said? Planting is land. I said. I, I I understand that. That's what I was saying. I meant not something that's not planting. That's not land. I don't. I don't know. I mean, you can think. Maybe about you it. can only eat falafel one day, in Eretz Yisrael. One day, you can two eat days. Falafel in Chutz Laaretz. How's that land based? <laughs> Maybe you can only. It's not it. land based. That's what I'm telling you. What? No, he's saying. No. He's saying. Uh, one day yomtiv, two days yomtiv. We're just doing it out suffix, not from the Torah. The Torah is one day. Right? Okay, so Tzei Oh, so Asha... Yeah, just... Come on, there's got to be something. Akiva, someone. There's got to be something that's not... There's got to be a good kasha here. Nobody's biting. Acha Shariba Akasa So Well, now maybe none of these mitzvahs started until they captured our children. Oh, so that we have to years. see in the bottom. That's what we're going to see yeah. in the bottom of the daf, right? So Acha Shariba Akasa Bumiyat. So the Pasuk is obviously including something. And excluding something. So tell Lamad, let's go out and see what it says. That's to get rid of all so the get examples that don't fit. No. Right? Get rid of all the avoidors. That it's a chaivasaguf, right? Your body, you're not allowed to do avoidazara. Penahag is pain bar, it's been chutzlar, it's af call she chaivis a guf. So anything that's a chayvus aguf is noyig in both places, right? So that's that's the basic limud. How we know that land based mitzvahs is only Eretz Yisrael, and person people people based mitzvahs is everywhere. So Yaakov, how do we know? I mean, I know it's it's I, I, I know it's logical to assume that the, the what we're darshaning now, but how do we know that the next pasuk is going on the riba and not the miyut? That's that's called the drushin. No, I'm just saying, like, is it because it's more logical, or is it meaning like if I'm saying because the kol yavim al adama al adama the the next pasuk the the part that we're darshining that for the reboy comes right after al adama. Correct. Which is the me, not the right. It's not the reboy. Right. And the chanami. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how it gets. I don't know how they split it up. I'm Amish. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. So now the Gemara says Chutzman Arlo Klaim, except for Arlo and Klaim. Why are those two special? Yeah. So we'll we'll get to that. Not to this. Is not the Gemara is going to say right now, but we have to figure out why is Arlo and Klaim different if they're land based. That's one. Two. You say, and Rabbi Eliezer says it's interesting. The Gemara should really say here Vachulu. Because this is not going on the Arlen client part. It's going on the Chodosh. Rebbe Lezer says, even Chodosh. So he boldly asked the Shailah, Rebbe Lezer, L'Kula Palig? Or L'Chumra Palig? Is he arguing L'Kula or L'Chumra? Meaning L'Chumra Pligi, Palig, Vahri, Kama, Tanakama. That he's, let's say, he's going L'Chumra. So this is what the Tanakama says. Chutz mena Arlen mena Klein. Anything land-based, you keep in only in Eretz Yisrael, except for Arlen Klein. The Hilchus of Gemirullah, we have Allah Chalim Hashem Yisinai. Right, that Afa got the equal name of Chayvus Karka. He, even though Arlo and Klaim are Achiyav on the land, Aval Aval Chadash Pe'aretz in the Chutzlaretz light, but Chadash is only now again Eretz Yisrael and not in Chutzlaretz. My time of Moishav. It says in the pasuk Moishav, La Acher Yerusha Yeshiva Mashma. That's after Yerusha and Yeshiva. Basically, it took fourteen years from when they got into Eretz Yisrael till they settled down. Till everybody figured out where they're living, where the boundaries are, right? So it took about 14 years. So Chadash, so Moshev means after Yerush and Yeshiva. 
right? And Mamela, it doesn't mean that you have to keep Chadash in uh, it's meaning you only keep it in in Eretz Yisrael, not wherever you live. Right? That's what the Tanakhama thinks. Also Rabbi Lezalamaimer, meaning because he uses the word Maisha to say that these mitzvahs don't kick in until the Yidin were in Eretz Yisrael for 14 years. Right? Also Rabbi Yazin. What? Why well, can't you say none of the mitzvahs kicked in? They were all in the army. They were all Until after 14, actually. After, after 14, correct. Now, I don't know what, which mitzvahs they chose. I guess when the ones that well, say... Maybe, Pia, they didn't do any, maybe they didn't do any mitzvahs. They were, sold, they were all soldiers. Right, so I think it's Tully in which mitzvahs it says Moshev and Bia. That's really what it's Tully in, I think. Right? So my time, Moshe Lacher Yerushim Yeshiva Mashma. What's the Rebbe Yezel Meimer? Af Chadosh Noig Bein Baruch Tov Meim Luchutz Aretz. Rebbe Yezel says Chadosh is Noig, whether it's in Eretz Yisrael, whether it's Chutz Aretz. My time, Moshe Bechol Makom Shatim Yoshvim. It says you have to keep Moshe. He's dashing the word Moshe that you have to keep the mitzvah wherever it is that you live. Right? The word Moshe means where you live. So he's understanding it that it's wherever you live. That's the Taich of Moshe, which means that he holds that they had to start keeping all these mitzvahs immediately after they went into Eretz Yisrael, not 14 years later, right? And Memela, but he also, so therefore he holds that Moshe means wherever you live, so therefore Chadash is Chayev. That's one way to look at it. So again, Rebbe Yezir is being Machmer, and he's saying even Chadash you have to keep in Eretz Yisrael, in Chutz Laretz. There's a lot of practical halacha that comes into this. It's almost as hot button a topic as Chol of Stam. But uh, but Zev Bolt not on, is he? Nope. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if people can be happy about that or not. Probably happy. But anyways, I Dilma Lakula Pollock or Vavi Kamer Tanakam. Maybe he's Lakula. Lakana Tanakam says Chutzman Arlu a Klein. Right? Arlen Klein is in Eretz Yisrael. Is everywhere. The Hilfas of Gemiri Law. It's Allah Lamaishim Yisina. But Kol Shikain Chadash and Kol Shikain Chadash the Maishav. Because the word Maisha is called Malcolm Shatim Yashrim Mashra. It's, it's any place that you that you live. Right? The, and then comes along Rebel Yazav. Rebel Yazav Lamemer. Chodosh ain't in Noyak Ella Baaret. Chodosh is only Noyak in Eretz Yisrael. The Maisha Lachi Yerusha Yeshiva Mashma. Right? They just, this is just the opinions just switched. He holds that Maisha means you don't have to keep these mitzvahs to the Eretz Yisrael for 14 years. Right? Some of Mela, Rebel Yazav holds. That you don't have the word Moshe to dash in anywhere that you live. It's only in Eretz Yisrael. My af, oh, but he says af. So doesn't af sound like even? Meaning he's adding on to the Tanakhama. He wants says no. Akamaisa that that the af is going on the first part of the Mishnah, right? That says that on, that land based things are are uh, are only in Eretz Yisrael. And he's saying that he's saying af. Af Chodesh is also only in Eretz Yisrael, not anywhere else. Yeah, so that's basically the Gemara Shailah, the Gemara right now doesn't answer it. Now, the reason why this is so negay at the is right about now, during this, right about now in the calendar, is when the wheat, the wheat starts going into, into Chodesh. Now, Chodesh is, let's just clarify what Chodesh is. Maybe we should have done that before. Chodesh is, is that any new grain, that was grown since Pesach, since last Pesach, is also to be eaten until the carbon oimer is brought on the second day Pesach. Right? So basically, any grain that was that was grown after this, this past Pesach is not allowed to be eaten until this coming Pesach. Hence, Yashon. Right? Yashon is the opposite of Chodesh. Right? So, is that going after Lakita or the the Zaria. No, it goes after the Zaria. Not Zaria. It goes after the, uh, what's the next stage after Zaria? After it's ready to be picked. It's after it's grown. No, 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 no. Not like no, Misha Hushrush. When it becomes... Right, Misha Hushrush. Uh, Misha Hushrush. Yeah. When, it takes, when it takes root. And why is that not only a straw? What? Why is that not... Well, that's the Machlaikis right here. It's the Machlaikis. Whether it's, like, whether it's a straw or not. Right? So, over the years, it became a big Machlaikis whether it... Chodesh applies in Chutzlaretz. Now, what was it in Negea? Beer. Beer was a major drink. Schnapps was a major drink. You're saying Eretz Yisrael for sure. 
Everybody holds the ocean, you're saying. Yes, you have that's a let's get that straight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eretz Yisrael, there's no such thing as do you keep Chodesh, do you keep Yasha? No. Eretz Yisrael has to keep it, finish the end. You know what it's like? Yeah, sometimes I heard this from Nissan Kaplan years ago. It says a guy comes comes in for Hanukkah. By Penasmanim, you come back from it's already after Pesach, so there's no such there's no Chodesh. But a guy goes home for Hanukkah. Right nowadays they fly back and forth for who knows what, right? So the guy comes home for Hanukkah. Wants to bring some good American donuts that are not Yashan. He brings it in Eretz Yisrael. You can't eat it. Because it's Yashan. It doesn't now you're in Eretz Yisrael. It goes by where you're standing? Yeah, again, I don't know. I don't remember. It's probably a machloikas. I'm a betting man. But well, there's, the stuff, there's stuff that's imported. There's stuff that's imported. How it would can't that... be. Yeah, so imported stuff has to be. It has to be Yashan. It, it can't Yashan. be that there's a rule. It can't be that there's something kosher here and you fly... Uh, a few hundred well, there you go. I'm not, okay, well, there you go. Naftali does uh, not like it. Why it? can't it be? Well, it just doesn't sit right. Well, that, say that, you that, 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 why that you can eat why, a donut and hold that lady can't, can't eat the be? same donut. Why okay, can't it donut, be? Donut Maybe it's also to buy an $8 donut any place in the world. <laughs> now, that's not what we're talking so about. Why talking can't about, it be? You it's got to make sense, okay? But yeah, yeah, not talking about that. Bring produce into Eretz Yisrael from Chutzla Eretz, right? It was grown outside of Eretz Yisrael, and you bring it into Eretz Yisrael. What, Would that be Ivan Meisters? I don't think so. So that's where Naftali's asking his question. Okay, if good. If you use such a swara, then why does it make it... The right if it's are. grown outside of Eretz Yisrael, why all of a sudden is it a towel on it in Isser? Yeah. Right, because uh, you, you see, it, it, because, it wasn't right. filed before. But you see, there's time. other other mitzvahs only in Eretz Yisrael. Same thing. No, no the same. It's grown outside Eretz Yisrael. Why should it be chal if it's not chal before? Why is it chal now? You don't because see the mitzvahs and, and, and true. truma. Right, a good point. But you see that chadash is different because already it's a machlokes whether it applies. No, I, I, it. So obviously there's something that's different because of the drushes. That's not because of the matisse of where good. it's growing. Good. So that's part of the drusha then. That that's part of the drusha. No, I know that. But however you darshan, if you it's yeah. asking that it's, not, it's like, not tired. Okay, whatever it is. Okay, that's good. You're 100. percent I'm it's, saying it's debatable whether this thing is that it didn't. I know Mr. Kaplan was stark on it. What? It's loosely based on the top tisus. The other, the other mitzvahs that's Luis Bar, it's based on a yesh or ain kinyan la'akum. Yeah, it's, that's all tied. That's all tied into it. Correct. In Chutzar, it's yesh la'akum kinyan the, the aritz. There's no, there's no question about that. Right. However, Chadosh, even if a guy owns the land, there's still an Isra Chadosh. Correct. That was the in next. The very good, so good, in, good. in the Chutzar, it's the same thing. You're saying good, Geshen, right? Let's say a guy, a guy grows wheat in Eretz Yisrael. Does it have to be Chodesh and Yashan or not? Right? So if you say that it does, which it does, so then you see it's already different because Trumas and Mises, you don't have to take off from a guy's. Okay, whatever it is, but let's get into the to the nitty gritty of it. How do we paskin? The Mises, how do we paskin? You're you talking about a rifle? Shulchan Aruch, <laughs> Shulchan Aruch paskins that you cannot, you have to keep, trouble. just relax. <laughs> Chodesh Yashon, you have to keep in Chutzlaretz. That's what it says in Shulchan Aruch. What should I tell you? Is there a mute button in your house? Is what? Is there a mute button in your house? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's called my fist. Maybe I'm I should take an... I'm on maybe... the way. Be there at five. All right. Uh, maybe I should take you one of those. You haven't hit him till now. I don't think you're going to. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll put an esrog in his mouth. But... Uh... <laughs> anyways, um, anyways, Shulchan Aruch says that we're chosh, we're now chosh, we paskin that even in Chutz Laretz, Chodesh has to be kept. So, what are we all doing? Right? Lamaisa, the Velt doesn't keep it. At least, well, at least a lot of the Velt. They certainly didn't keep it before. So, the Ba. The the it used yeah. to be there wasn't Chodesh. Um, somebody said this this morning. I knew it after he said. I realized it. until Nixon started selling wheat to Russia, there was no chadish in America. It was they had years of wheat in all the silos all over the Midwest. There was no. They always they always used old wheat. There's no chadish. Right. So now, by used to tell me that all the time. Then when they sold it, when they started selling it to. to Eastern Europe and to Russia. So then they had to start you then they started using new wheat. Well it's uh, telling is it seems like from the price game that they did have this issue in Europe though. 
on that I don't know obviously. Right. Isn't it um, but isn't it only an issue if you bring it back there to Israel? Who? Isn't no, yes no, only an issue saying, if you bring Bobby, it back there to Israel? It's not an not issue. No, even it's not an issue great. to eat it here. Sure it is. According to the Shulchan Aruch. So what does the, the Bach say? What does the Bach say? Okay, so the the Bach said. The Bach said. By the Bach. That's not me. The Bach. The Bach said that it, we're gonna. What is ju he's justified drinking beer? I think that's what he that's what he was referring to. He justified drinking beer. By uh, and he said that we're gonna go with the shitas that it doesn't apply in Chutz Laaretz. That's the way the Bach said it. Right? The Rama in Shulchan Aruch says a fascinating thing. He says it's a svek sveka, and that's why you don't have to keep yoshin. What's the svek sveka? One is maybe we don't know, like Rabban was saying, we don't know when the when the wheat was planted, right? And even if it was planted after Pesach, maybe it didn't take root. May, even if it was planted, how's it go? It, maybe it was planted before, before Pesach. Pesach. And even if it was planted, what's the second suffix? That's the problem. The, <laughs> <laughs> before uh, you saying it was planted before, but it didn't take root till after Yontif? That's, no, that would be a suffix of the Chumrah. That would be a suffix of the Chumrah. Now I'm forgetting. Uh, where's the Chilak? I'll get it. Where? Uh, I don't remember now. Okay, what's this? I know, but the, the reason the reason is because all the Paiskim, all the Paiskim ask on the Rama is that it's not a Svek Svek, it's one suffix, which is why I'm having problems with this because I'm only remembering one suffix. Does so he go one, the other way? Where is it? Which chaos? The first suffix is if it takes root before Pesach. But right. even if it doesn't, it might have been planted before Pesach. That's that the over. Kasha. There is only one yeah. suffix because it really, the whole thing is if it was planted. Oh, that's the Kasha on the Rama. It's all a Shiloh. Was it planted before or not? But now you, you have should a be able to know that now. Right. So that's the problem. Nowadays, with this, with the, what do you call it? You have that website. You got a website. And uh, the guy, uh, Rabbi, what's his name? Uh, what was he from Muncie? He was nifted a couple of years ago. Uh, Ami Kohn Shver. Uh, whatever his name was. He, Mamish, Hitler? made the... What? Hitler? No, no. What did you say? What was it? Of Tendler. No, not of Tendler. No, no, no. I mean, maybe him too, but uh, whatever it was. So he, he mamish. Now you have barcodes and you can mamish know when, because when, which weed it was from. So, okay, whatever it is. Now, the Hasidim of all things don't care about Yosh. And I think we mentioned a couple of times, it's a fascinating thing. Hasidim are from about all Kashra things and this and that. Comes to Yashan. I once made the mistake of in going into Williamsburg in a in a bakery. I have no idea why I asked because I don't particularly am not particularly Makbid. And I asked if it's Yashan. I think I was buying it for somebody. And the guy looks at me and says, Yashan? Like he wanted to throw me out of there. Like <laughs> now the reason why he wanted to use the mute button. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's in the middle so... of making some designers rolls. Yeah, make it right. Very good. So <laughs> so, <laughs> so the reason is because the Baal Shem Tev said that when the Bach came out with his heta, all the neshamas got taken out of Gehenim. All the neshamas that went against Shulchan Aruch or went against the, the Psak were, were taken out of Gehenim because of the Baal Shem, the, the, because of the Bach's heta. And now if you're going to go against the Bach, they're going to all go back into Gehenim. So Mamela, the Hasidim don't care because they don't want anybody going into Gehenim. I'm True gonna, fact. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna like to ask, yeah, I'm gonna have to ask my mechutin who uh, has the pizza store in the, in Monroe. <laughs> ask him. <laughs> ask him if it's Yashan Rachel. Just I'm put gonna, on a I, helmet. I, I will, because because they were they they they, they used to be yakas. <laughs> oh, then then they might be confused. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, so but yeah, just put on a helmet before you ask to see them if it's Yashan. So. But uh, you know, they're mamish makbid because of this. It's wild. It's wild. But anyways, so, I love a tweet. Yeah, maybe. But it's a uh, bottom line is bottom line is is that halachically it is not posh not to keep yoshon. But but uh, whatever. That's, they don't know that's where it goes. To they don't know where I was coming from. You have the story of yeah, like fall. You have to say it. Well, I don't know the story exactly. I think my father, Naftali, remembers my father saying that he wanted to start keeping yoshon, and Rabbi Freifeld told him no way. 
No uncertain terms. He cannot keep. But Siakam, it's a big Briscoe thing, no, to keep Yasha. I don't know. It seems like most most yeshiva yeshiva light nowadays keep it. The way I heard the story was your father told me that he was starting to learn Chadash. And our father told him you can learn it, but if you come out the Chumra, I'm throwing it out of your house. Yeah. Okay. There you go. People so keep uh, it now. People are starting to keep it now. Everybody keep in the in the right wing yeshiva world. Yeah. Everybody keep. Yeah. Sure. Now, of course, I don't want to be the. I don't want to be that guy. But it's very Tyler, nice. I think the uh, the the VOD even has a sign if it's Yasha. Do they? I yeah, think. sure. Oh uh, sure. yes. Okay. So that now the now the downside <clears throat> with Yashan is bugs. <laughs> it's very nice. But you eat the new wheat, <coughs> the new wheat's much fresher, and it, there's much less chance of having bugs in there. You eat the old wheat and it's sitting around, it yeah. has much higher chance. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a different sugya. Anyways, okay, so that's the practical halacha for the night over whether with Yashon or not. But bottom line is, if you hear that somebody keeps Yashon, they're not so crazy. The mom is not so crazy. All right, it's all based on this Gemara. Fine. Okay, Vaita. So oh, random, random for what Rabbi was saying with old wheat. There's a guy who bakes bread and he bedafka has his wheat sit for a couple of months because he says it settles down after they grind it too volatile he won't that's use that's fresh that's... ground wheat only after three or four months okay does he keep it frozen or whatever no he just lets it sit and then he's gone through three generation of mice and <laughs> cockroaches i guess listen parrots i say i could understand that the same way you guys air out your wine i have no idea what you guys are doing there airing out your wine <laughs> You know, shaking it, moving it, uh, rolling it. You know, I have no idea what that is. So I'll put that in that category. I, I'm not a wine <laughs> guy, but yeah. <laughs> he just says meat also. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> yeah. Okay, right. So Toshima. Uh, we're about uh, 10 lines up from the bottom. So Toshima. Now we get into a little history here. Dharma Rabaya. Mantana the Polygolet the Revelator. Who's the Tan in our mission, right? The mission is an anonymous mission. Right. So who's the Tan of the mission? Rabbi Shmuel, it's Rabbi Shmuel. The Tani Lametcha. This whole pasuk, right? Rashi goes. There's a long Rashi here that goes through this whole sugya um, uh, by Nesachim, right? They used to have to bring, uh, you know, the wine for the korbanos. So when it says Kisavayo Alaretz Mishmashveseichem Asisa Misha Lashem, right? And Rabbi Shmuel learns out from that that you need Nesachim for Bamas Tzibur and not for Bamas Yachid. Right. Historically, when they first moved into Eretz Yisrael, when they had the Mishkan, so you needed to only use the Mishkan. But when they didn't have Mishkan, so there were different times that they allowed Bamas. Bamas is, is a, basically a Mizbeach, but it's not in the Mishkan. So they had Bamas of a Tzibur, which had the denim of a regular Mizbeach, for the most part. And then you had private Bamas. You can make a Bama in your backyard. Right? So he learns out, Rabbi Shmuel learns out that you didn't do any nesachim on the small bummers, on the bu- private bummers, only on the large bummers. That's basically what he learned out based on these psukim. So the Tani Lametcha, it's coming to teach you. Shekal makim shenemra by Maishav. When it says in the Pasuk Maishav, or like Maishvay Seichem, right? Anybody that's familiar with the Tani, there's a lot of times the psukim say, Bechol Maishvay Seichem, right? Eine ele la'achar Yerusha v'yeshiva. It's only, that means that you only have to start keeping the mitzvah after they yarshened it and after they dwelled in it, meaning that's the 14 years we were talking about before. Dear Rabbi Shmuel. So I'm Rabbi Kiva. Hare Shabbos. Shanem Rabbi Moish Shavos. Venagos. Bein Baruch. Bein Bechodz Baruch. What do you mean? We have Shabbos, right? Shabbos says Moish Vaseichem. Loi Sevaru Eish. Bechol Moish Vaseichem. Beyoyim Shabbos. Right. So does that mean we only have to keep Shabbos in in Eretz Yisrael? Right. We know that you don't have to, although with all the shilas of all these guys only wanting to keep one day Yom Tif, it's almost, you almost expect them to ask, hey, do I have to keep Shabbos when I'm in Eretz Yisrael? But that's, but that's not, uh, that's not, that's not what we're saying here. Here we're saying that you see that you have to keep Shabbos everywhere, even though it says, my Shabbos, so I'm going Shabbos, Kabbal Chaymer, Asya Shabbos, you have a Kabbal Chaymer, right? Ma mitzvahs kalas noyig is bein baruch bein chutzlar. It's regular light mitzvahs. Our noyig in eretz and chutzlar. It's Shabbos chamira loy kolshikain. Shabbos, which is strict, isn't it a kolshikain? So 
So when, now this is all still part of the proof that our Tana is Rabbi Shmuel. So if Abaya said that who's the Tana that disagrees with Rabbi Lezer, it's Rabbi Shmuel. Shema Mino Rabbi Lezer, L'chumra Palad. So you see that Rabbi Lezer is going L'chumra, right? And, and Shema Mino, and that's that we, that Rabbi Lezer is the one that's Machmer and he holds that Chodesh is now in, 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 in everywhere. Not just so why not would we pass him like he's Yochid? And we don't usually pass him like Rabbi Yezer. Correct. So why would the why would the place can pass him the Khumra? Um yeah, that's a good uh that's a good point. I don't remember what the what the thing is. I don't remember why it is that we pass him like that. Uh I mean Abai is not a proof. Abai himself is a Amira. It's it's his opinion that that that, that really has a correct correct. Um, yeah, so I don't know. What does it say? No, we're saying the real is the one that's machmer and holds that that it's my that we're uh, that you keep chadash in everywhere chutzlarets and in Eretz Yisrael. Okay, so let's see. Michti, Rabbi Shmuel. I hate the kai. I thought he was the one saying that. Who's Rabbi, what's Rabbi Shmuel going on? He's going on the pasuk of Moshe or Moshe on the sochim. So that's going on the sochim, right? The pouring the wine on the on the mizbech. In the sochim, on Tami Beis now, biya u Moshev ksevud. By the sochim, it doesn't just say Moshe. It also says when ki savayu, right? Ki savayu al eretz Moshev vayseichem. So that has two pesukim. When you come into Eretz Yisrael, and when you dwell there. So maybe only by Nesachim you have those two. How can you learn on anything from that? So when it says, Whenever it says the words Bia coming in and Moshev living, So now we're tweaking it. It's not just the word Moshev. It's when it says, and Moshev Seichem. So when it says, Right? Well, what was Rebbe Kiva's Kashatim? Oh, Shabbos, it says Moshe Seichem, and you see you have to keep it everywhere. And what we answered with Kabbalah Chaimer, what we should have just answered, but it doesn't say Ki Yivayacha by Shabbos, it only says Moshe Seichem. Name Malay, I'm not Bio Moshe Kam, you know. I'm talking about when it says the words Bio and Moshe, and Shabbos only says Moshe. So when it answers Chadava, I'd come, Malay. Really, he meant to tell him one, and he really was saying other things too. Chada, I'm not Bio Moshe Kam, you know. Really, I'm saying it because it says Bio and Moshe. The comment Hare Shabbos Shemar by Moshevus Shabbos Kavu Chaimeri. In this, is saying that Shabbos has the words Moshevus. Shabbos is a Kavu Chaimer. Yeah. Okay. So that's so that is how Rabbi Shmuel learns it out that that Nesachim is only in Eretz Yisrael after fourteen years, and only when it says the words Bia and Moshev does it mean that you're supposed to be in in Eretz in in Eretz Yisrael after the fourteen years. Okay. So my Mitzvigi. What's the machleik is Rabbi Shmuel Rabbi Kiva here, right? The kirbu nesachim the midbar kamevli. Their machleik is is whether they were like we said on Amman Aleph, whether they were makriv wine on the mizbeach on the small mizbeach on the large mizbeach. They definitely did it on the small mizbeach. Did they were they makriv wine or not? Rabbi Shmuel says they were kirbu nesachim the midbar. Rabbi Shmuel says they weren't makriv it, right? But Rabbi Kiva says the kirbu nesachim and Rabbi Kiva says that they were. This Tana Dvei Rabbi Shmuel that we just said is that they did not allow Nesachim is different than a different um, group, I guess, of that, that meaning a different Hebra from the Yeshiva of the Dvei Rabbi Shmuel of Rabbi Shmuel who said differently. The Tana Dvei Rabbi Shmuel since it says many times in the Torah Etc. Etc. It says it many times. And the pasuk by one of them says that when it says kisavai, it means after fourteen years, meaning after they settle in. And that, since it says it by one pasuk, so that tells us that every other time it says kisavai or kiyavi, then afkol laachar yerusha yeshiva. Then it's all after yerusha yeshiva, right? So one pasuk goes on all of them. And the other Rabbi Shmuel, meaning the first way we learned Rabbi Shmuel, Mashum to have a Melech who be Kurim, Shneik Suvan Abayin Kachim Melech, meaning the mitzvah to get a king, and be Kurim is the first fruits. 
Those are two ksuvim abayim ke'echad. Right? They're both coming to tell you that after 14 years is when the mitzvah kicks in. And why do you need two for? So this we learned this a couple of lot ago. Anytime the Torah, anytime the Torah has to say two examples, that means it's specific to those two examples. And anytime you have two ksuvim, two psukim coming to teach the same thing, we don't learn out to anything else. It's exclusive to those two. Now, why the Gemara doesn't do like it did a few days ago and ask, what about the sheet that holds that you can learn out? I don't know why the Gemara does that sometimes and sometimes it doesn't. Okay, the Edoch and the other Rebbe Shemal, it's, it's Why doesn't he say it's two ksuvim that are saying the same thing? He says, no, we need to say both. If it would have just said Melech after 14 days and it didn't say Bikurim, how about Mina Bikurim to come to Sani La'alta? Bikurim, you get, you benefit from it right away. Right? Bikurim, all you have to do is bring it up to Eretz Yisrael and then eat it. Because of Bikurim, because of Melech. And if you would have said Bikurim and not Melech, how about Mina Melech, the Darki L'chavesh La'alta? A king, he, he, he knocks everybody out right away. Meaning it shouldn't be after 14 years. It's okay, so what is the other Rebbe Shemal? Let it, let it write Melech, and then you don't need Bikurim. I mean, and I'll say, Oh, man, Melech, till the Chavash Lach Yerusha, the Yeshiva, a Melech comes after 14 years. Bikurim, like Kalshikain, shouldn't for sure Bikurim come after 14 years, right? Because meaning, why should you say that it's that it's right away? Be'idah, and the other Rebbe Shemal, because of Achi, if it would have said this, right? Hava mina midi dava achala. Then you would think it's just like chala, kamash malon, meaning and chala was was you. They would that was right away. Rashi says everybody's mind that the chi of chala, meaning hafroshas chala, like what we do, you know, with the chala to separate it before we bake it. Right there it says bevoyachem. Um, which is different. So then you would, yeah, that's right away. So we would think maybe you compare it to Chala, Kamash Malan. That's why the, ta- the, the Taurus says Bikurim. So that's why you need both Pesukim. Okay, I know that's back and forth. There's a little, you know, it's always hard to do in the Da when it goes back and forth. But Chala, by the way, is also, right? Chala is, is land-based. Even though it's dough, right? So you say it's not, but since it grew from the ground, so that's considered land-based, and really, it's only chala is is daraisa in Eretz Yisrael in Chutzlar. It's the Rabbanon, right? And there are there are nafkaminas because it's obviously more mekel in in uh, Chutzlar. It's in Eretz Yisrael, like Lamashal. Somebody forgot to take off chala, and they remember on Yom Tif or Shabbos. So you're allowed to eat that chala in Chutzlar. You're allowed to eat that chala as long as you leave off. A little bit of challah to separate the challah after Shabbos. You can't do that in Eretz Yisrael. Right? Getting into the whole Brera and, and with Anadar Abonan and Anadar Isa. Okay. Now the Gemara goes through a bunch of examples of where the where the, the Psukim say. So if you take that challah, you made it in Chutz Eretz and you bring it to Eretz Yisrael and you forgot to take challah. I think it would be a problem, but I don't know. Now that we say, that anything that's a chayvah saguf is not whether it's an eretz or whether it's chutzar. It's moishah of the kasser of monik abi shabbos lomeli. So then, why taka does it say moish vayseichem? Right now, the gemara is going to go through all the all the cases, all the cases of moish vayseichem. Right, that we're going to say don't apply only in eretz yisrael. So why does it say bechol moish vayseichem by shabbos? So the gemara says it's rich sagadai to mina hayol binyana demayadis ksiva since. It's um, Shabbos. The mitzvah of Shabbos is written together in the same parsha, Emor of, of it's Emor, right? Of uh, with Yomim Taivim. So Tibai Kiddush, Kimoyadus. It should need Kiddush, and that doesn't mean that it needs to have. You need to have a Kiddush in Shul. Okay, I know you might want to bring a Raya that this is a Raya that it needs Kiddush, right? Well, anyways, it's just a Havamin. The Tibai Kiddush, right? So. Um, you would think that it would need Kiddush, meaning just like you need Bezdin to establish when Yom Tif is, so so too you would need to Bezdin to establish every single Shabbos. 
Kamash Valon, that you don't need it. Moshe Seichem means that Shabbos is everywhere. You don't need Bezdin to be Makadish Shabbos. Halavai. Then we, maybe if we had that, we'd keep two days Shabbos uh, in Chutz Laras. Right? Okay, so that's what you need, Moshe. Fine. Moshe, the Kazar Rahman of Gabi Chayla Vedam, Lomeli. It says by Chayla Vedam, it says, Chukas Al Nadar Seichem, Bechom Moshe Seichem. Right? So why does it say there, Chayla Vedam is everywhere? It's just like that. I mean, a whole binyon of the carbonus cleave since chalem and dam is said by carbonus, but man, the carbon nits are chalem and dam. When there are carbonus, so then chalem and dam is also right. Uh, this man, the lack of carbon loy when there's no carbon, then not kamash malon. That it's we have to keep the isser of chalem and dam at any time, at all times. Fine, much of the gods want to be matzo mara lomali, right. By matzah and mara, it says v'chol moshe seichem taichlu matzas. Why is it saying moshe seichem if you have to eat matzah and mara everywhere? It's like saying that I mean, how you see if on matzah and mara you eat that you eat on matzah and mara and b'zman to eat a pesach in. When there's a carbon pesach, you eat matzah and mara. B'zman the lack of pesach loy. When there's no pesach, then maybe you don't eat matzah and mara. Kamash malon that you do. Last one. Be a the kaser achmona got be tefillin of pesach and mara. How come? It says, Kisavayu, or as of Hayakiviach, I'm sorry, when you come in. Why does it say that? By Tfilin and Petach you have to keep those mitzvahs everywhere. Haumibayle, look at the Tani, look at Tani, it's very small. I say mitzvah zu, Shebeshvila tikon is la'aret. Do the mitzvah of Tfilin and Petach Hamar. And if you do it, then you will end up going into Eretz Yisrael. Right? Meaning in the schus that Kla Yisrael did it, that's the schus that they're going into to Eretz Yisrael. Right? Um, yeah, so that's why it says it there. Yeah. Um, okay, I guess, yeah, let's stop here. Let's stop here because the uh, next one goes a little bit. All right, we finished before 9.30. Ah. There you go. Wow. And that's with the whole...